Today, we'll be taking a look at the Burrow element on this Whirlpool electric range. Be sure to visit appliancevideo.com where you will find thousands of repair videos on the latest technology. And for a limited time, you can save big on an annual membership and take advantage of all of our premium benefits. Appliancevideo.com. Do it right the first time. Stop. Before beginning any repair, always be sure to disconnect the power to the appliance. It is also recommended to test the outlet for the proper voltage. You will need the following tools to complete this repair. To begin, must first remove this terminal cover here. It is held on by two Phillips screws on the bottom. Once we take these out, you want to slide down on the plate, pull out, and set it to the side. Next, we'll need to remove the upper rear panel. There are multiple Phillips screws around it that'll have to be taken out. Now, before I remove the top ones, I'm going to push the panel in and hold up. Let's take the first one out. Second one. You'll want to lift out on the panel, pull down, and set it to the side. Now that we have the top panel removed, we have clear access to the rear portion of our broil element here. Now, the main reason why you'd be replacing your broil element is if the broil function is not working. Now, in order to test out your broil element, you'll have to remove the terminals. Each one of these has a locking pin. You'll have to press in on the center and pull out. We have one on each side, and what we'll do is you'll use your voltmeter and you'll test these two terminals for continuity. What you want to test for is you want to see it in a range of 10 to 50 ohms. If it has 10 to 50 ohms, that means that it is good. You'll need to test elsewhere. But if it is an open continuity reading, that means that the burrow element is bad and will need to be replaced. Let's go to the front for removal. Next, we'll go ahead and open up the door and remove these oven racks. Let's go ahead and set these to the side. Then, to remove the actual burrow element, You'll have four screws, two in the back and two at the top. So let's remove the ones in the back first. These are all Phillips screws. Then let's start to remove the ones on the top. When removing the last one, just make sure you hold on to the element. That screw out, pull down on the element. And carefully slide out and set it to the side. When installing your new broil element, be aware that these brackets move. So once we get the element in, you may have to slide this to reattach it to the top. So to begin, let's go ahead and slide the terminals in the back and through the insulation, and then just let it kind of hang there. And I'm gonna put a Phillips screw in here. Just kind of move it back and get it lined up. Get that first one in. And then let's slide for the second one. And get that second one in here. Then make sure your elements push all the way back in. You may have to move it to get the holes lined up. Let's go ahead and reinstall our screws. Get our second one in here. Tighten it up. Let's go ahead and slide back in our oven racks. And 
Now, let's return to the back of the unit. Now that we have the bro element properly installed here, make sure you push in on any installation to keep it away from the back. You will reinstall the terminals here. And now we can reinstall the top plate. When reinstalling your top rear panel, you're going to bring it in at an angle and it will slide in in the middle, but stay out on the end. So let's have that side in. We'll leave this side out, lift up. Let's get our first screw and start to put it in and tighten it up. Let's maneuver this under here so that we can install the second one. And that should hold your plate so we can go around the remainder of the perimeter and install the others. Now we can reinstall the terminal cover. When reinstalling your terminal cover, we will want to put all of these stakes inside the slotted spots on the oven. So put these in with them facing up. And what we'll do is smack on the bottom to lift them up in place. Reinstall our two screws. And this will complete your repair. Thank you for watching another quality video from appliancevideo.com. If you found this video helpful, make sure you click the like and subscribe to our channel.